What's up you guys? In the last video, you guys watched us put together the whole entire turbo kit on the BRZ and it is done and installed and today we're going to be focusing on throwing the tune on this car so we can develop some boost and see how the car feels. The front mount is tucked beautifully behind the front bumper of the Street Hunter kit. It looks amazing. Calvin, you want to start it up for me? Oh, you're in the passenger seat. The car really isn't generating too much boost as of this moment, but Cal, give us a little rev. She ain't stuck no more. We're gonna be tuning this BRZ off of the Ecutech software, which is the same exact software that we run on Miley. I've had such a good experience with the Ecutech platform on Miley that I really was so comfortable doing it on this car. So what we've done is Calvin has scanned the map and sent it to a company that is adjusting it for us. I went back and forth with CSG. They gave me a map, I loaded it, I did an idle tune, he fixed it, I loaded it up again, I did another idle map. The last step we have to do is drive it for 10 minutes under 5,000 RPM mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and little to no boost. Mm. So don't drive with a heavy foot. Because I don't want to start over. Okay, so just normal driving normal for driving. 10 minutes. Yes, for 10 minutes. Okay. We're gonna start this process. We're gonna do a data log. We're gonna send it. They're gonna adjust the tune, send it back in probably a few hours, and we'll go again for another drive, hopefully at our proper boost setting and with the car dialed up. And we start now, boom. And we're off. All right, so I'm doing my best not to drive too heavy, although it is gonna be exciting because I can hear the turbo and I can hear it kind of- Oh, it does the thing. Surge a little bit it under 5,000, but this thing is probably gonna make peak boost around 4,500 RPM. And I'm really trying to not get too close up it. So this part is the least exciting part. And then once the map gets written, that's oh, when it will get really oh, fun. We're gonna play. But I'm just doing some fun, easy cruising. Once we finish this, we got about five more minutes left. We'll send the log off and get it dialed up. <laughs> data is done now we wait patient now that we've actually ran the car we'll pop the hood make sure everything looks good there is a small exhaust leak that i can hear from the front pipe to the cap back so we can go further and adjust that that shouldn't really mess with anything on our tune wise but let's see if how it looks looks just like how we left it keen just how we left it pep cool some good mean get the tune reload it and we'll go back out for some boost we're uploading the final tune this is version 2.53, and we're gonna go out to test this one at full beans. Full, you know? Yeah, I know. Hopefully, it'll feel better. We got rid of a few things, we added a few things, it's gonna be- a There was a little burble tune on there that we, we took off. Didn't sound that great. Don't need it, don't want it. No burble team for you guys, you're welcome. Give me 10 minutes here and then we're gonna go out and drive. On this channel we do with cars on a daily basis and that's extremely important to all of us. But something that should be as just as important as that is our mental health. And today's video sponsor is BetterHelp. BetterHelp offers flexible ways for all of us to access therapy, whether it's messaging, video calls, or even phone calls. Now don't think about it as a way of replacing family and friends, but more so an outside perspective that can give you the messaging and info that you need to make better decisions with your mental health. Their network includes over 30,000 licensed therapists that will help find the right one for you. Just like test driving cars, you have to drive a few different cars to understand which one best suits your needs. If you end up getting matched with a therapist that you don't necessarily like, you can easily just change that within one click in your settings to find a new one. Getting started is just as easy as going to betterhelp.com forward slash TJ Hunt and all you have to do is answer a few simple questions and usually within 48 hours you'll get matched with a therapist. From there you can schedule your online sessions based on your schedule from the comfort of your own home. Therapy for me has been something that has really helped me throughout my life that I didn't always know I needed. We all have different experiences and traumas growing up that really shape us who we are today and with better help they've been able to bring those problems to the surface so I can work on them and not only be a better friend, a better person, and a better business owner. Another big positive of BetterHelp is to have a dedicated member success team. It's essentially a team that's dedicated to make sure you guys are happy with the feedback you're getting. They're making sure that you're getting your questions answered and your poor experiences resolved. And they usually respond within 24 hours of you leaving a receipt because they have members seven days a week to make sure that you guys are having the best experience possible. BetterHelp is here to empower your mental health journey. When you guys visit betterhelp.com forward slash TJ Hunt, you can get 10% off your first month. Mental health is something none of us should take lightly and I highly encourage all of you guys to invest in it. Thank you so much, BetterHelp, for sponsoring today's video and now let's get back to it. 
I also want to make a little bit of an update here because in the last video there were so many comments from you guys about not having a bash bar but I'm going to walk you through a little bit of our reasoning why and what we're going to do about it. So for one, on a lot of our cars we don't run bash bars, especially when you run a big front mount intercooler. A bash bar is meant for impacts under like 10 mile per hour. It's for like fender benders. So rather than hitting your core or blowing some radiators or some AC condensers, you're gonna dent the bash bar. In our experience, when it comes to drift cars, we'll put those big beefy bash bars and fender benders can sometimes, most often, cause more damage to the car because what the bash bar ends up doing is it ends up pushing a bash bar a certain way and then tears your front arms off of the chassis and it actually can sometimes cause more damage. So when going with the front mount, I didn't think it was a problem or I didn't think many of you guys have a problem with it because we still left the standoffs here, but the front core support is gone, but this intercooler is literally welded to the crash bar. Like it, this is not going anywhere. But just to suit everyone, so everyone feels happy and safe, we're gonna have Mark come back in and he'll make a standoff and he'll make a retrofit crash bar like we do off of the drift cars so you have something and we can tuck it in this front bumper so just to be clear because this is your guys's giveaway car and you guys have expressed concern about it we are gonna add it but in my opinion i would almost rather not have it but i want to hear you guys out you guys have a big impact in sale on this channel so in the next couple days mark's gonna come back in it's gonna add a bash bar we will film it you guys will see it and your car will have it. We'll probably make some sort of a bolt-on standoff, so if you choose to run it or not, that's up to you. Because if you go to thehuntandcompany.com and shop, every $1 you spend is gonna get you one entry to win this car. So, just wanna let that be known. Your comments were received. All right, so he may want a third gear pull from like 2000 to Redline. This is not full power yet. We're still dialing it in, but uh, the car should spool a little bit faster than our initial base. So, all right, here's 23. Here we go, go. Send it. S still building up. Boost. Nice, nice. buddy. Made it. Oh, we're moving. Oh, we're going. <laughs> that was good. Oh, that was yeah. good. That was good. What's cool to see is the car is just handling it perfectly. Yeah, it just loves it. No drama. Car is not acting up at all. No lines popping off. No couplers popping off. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, like everything Everything's has just been good. like solid. our team's pretty dialed now. Solid. We're, solid. I don't wanna pump our pump our egos, but we've done it enough. So cool. We're gonna continue driving for about ten more minutes. He's gonna make a corrected map with more boost to get us to our proper range 491, and then we can go for our final final drive. So a few little fixes, we're almost there. And then we do it all over again for 85. Yeah. We're not tuning for 85 today, but listen how good that sounds. The turbo is definitely spooling a little bit sooner. Oh, it makes sound. The blow off sound and, sounds and the, good. And the, uh, Phew. And the Phew. surge sounds amazing. It's beautiful. All right, the BRZ is tuned up and ready for us. So right now we're on 91 octane. So I was going back and forth at 91 octane. He was telling us easy 400s on the 85. And he, I asked him, what are we at right now? That's what I want to know. He said, Bang, 300 around there. And TJ, butt tune, 330. Yeah, that was my guess. So that's about 100 horsepower over stock. That's pretty good. That's so, like, guys, you don't understand how much TJ and I love this car. We love, this is like a car we recommend everyone to get. It's so good because it's just a good car. for a platform that's of the lower dollar range, you don't necessarily get a fast car, but you get a really good daily day-to-day -day car that also handles and drives amazing like a porsche like a porsche I, did, I didn't want to say it but you said no, it. no 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 i it's, it's for real first-hand accounts of so many friends who end up in the porsche who accidentally end up in a porsche rally with their brz and around the corners in the mountains they keep up so in a straight line they get lost but that's different but when you go to actually use the power with this weight and just the way the car handles it's truly a great package a great car. we love these cars our channel was built off the backs of them so like you know there's a little bit of bias there but they're amazing so right now 300 ish horsepower 
not the fastest, but the car feels it amazing. Feels it's about the power of like an STI. It feels good. Once we add our... Imagine feeling STI power in a BRZ. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. Why would you get an SDI, bro? Now, once we add the flex fuel, we'll make another 100 horsepower and we'll do another big install and review on that. But this is a great balance. So, 300 feels good. Oh, man. It There's just mid range. There's no, mid range the car never had. It, it already felt good. Like when I drive this car, the car was over, peppy. Over my... Not this type of peppy, but the car was peppy. It's loud from the outside. Is it really? When you were in front of me, I could hear it like 30 feet back. Yeah. It's loud. I... It's spiced up, baby. Oh, it's tuned up. It's spicy. Power of an STI and a BRZ. Everyone says this is how the car should have came from factory. I agree, but had it, ass up. had it have come with that much power, they would have not been the price point. They would have no. been 40 grand. Yeah, yeah. And then everyone would have said it's not worth it. Yeah. I actually like kind of agree with everything they did about these platforms. I think them choosing what they did is exactly what it was for. Because let's face it, you ain't gonna drive this car on a track. You ain't driving any cars on tracks. A lot of people do. I don't think but so. But majority of the owners do not. I don't think so. No, we have yeah, but I mean this is a really friendly track car. Yeah. Dude, the third gear. The third it's, gear is it. It, it rolls. Third gear is it. It rolls real good. Yeah, this car feels good. And test those brakes. Not, not. I think they're good. I wasn't really on it. Oh, you want me to stand on it? Yeah, stand on it. Give okay. me a stand. All right. Give me a third. Give me a stand. You want a third gear? Absolute stand on the brakes. Yeah. Give me a third. Give me a stand. All right. <laughs> that's good. That's pretty good. That's good. The stock brakes on the Gen oh, Two are good. monumentally better than that, Gen One. I sincerely flew forward. Yeah. I sincerely flew forward. I wasn't expecting that. This it car, feels amazing. This car's good. Very, very happy with it. Okay. Not much negative to report about it. And I really, I'm really happy we went with the 2971R Garrett turbo size. It's of the smaller turbos, but remember- It's for fun. Well, we could have optioned for the larger turbos that touch 700 horsepower, but when you get to that over 500 horsepower range, that's where these engines go kaboom. So I really wanted this car to be mid 400s so that you're maximizing turbo efficiency. So it's going to be very snappy and very happy. You're going to be using a lot of the turbo. All the time. But in return, you're going to get a horsepower range that is very safe. And you're going to get a turbo that is very responsive, has great low end, and is efficient to the top of 8,000. So that's why I think this turbo setup is the move. I must do a big built engine. But again, on Miley, I've been through three engines. Yep. We don't want that oh. for you guys. I'm gonna give you guys a little sneak peek into what you're gonna see in the next video. I just, I haven't done a YouTube collab in a long time. Twan, well, when's the last time we did a YouTube collab? <laughs> Couldn't even tell you. And I don't even count like hanging out with LZ as like a YouTube collab. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I've ever done a YouTube collab. Damn, now you got me thinking. I don't know. Well, I did a YouTube collab. <laughs> GDE? Yeah. I was gonna say GDE. Nah, not really though. Not really. Maybe kinda. But just had some uh, friends come by that you guys will probably be very familiar with. They are from the donut universe. So leave some comments down below. Do you, who do you think that we had here do a little special episode on my <coughs> speaking of beer Z's? Guys, I promise after this the beer Z episodes are done. I know you guys want to see the Porsche finish. I know you guys want to see the Evo finish. I know, but no, you're okay. Oh, don't show him. Don't show him. <laughs> you're okay. Don't like. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are okay. You don't need to stand at the door. <laughs> A little sneak peek. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oi, oh don't oi. show him, dude. Don't show him. It's a secret. It's a secret. Well, we are packing up to go to uh, Good Life Laguna. Very long day. I cannot wait to see some of you guys at Good Life Laguna. If you're watching this video, Good Life Laguna is tomorrow. Did you buy your tickets yet? If you didn't, 
Go hurry. Oh! Hey, whoa, don't show them that. No, oh, you can't. You can't see Thank that. you guys so much for watching. I'll see you boys in the next one. Peace out and keep moving forward.